What's up, Postal268 here? This is take two, because apparently I started streaming instead of recording. Ah, uh, that was a waste of time. Okay, so this is deck two on my deck profile, Wallapalooza. No, but seriously, this is uh, second deck profile of the month. This will be the third version of my Ghost Trick deck. Uh, the best version, in my opinion. It's continuing off of the last version. First version is completely different, so if you want to see a whole different concept of how to use Ghost Tricks, go back and watch the first deck profile. But this one is the continuing of the last one, which was working around the barrier continuous trap cards. So I'll go ahead and open it up and explain. So, the cards in it are one Ghost Trick Yukiona, three Ghost Trick Witches, two Delg of the Dark Monarch, Mon three Ghost Trick Skeletons, one Ghost Trick Ghoul, and two Crystal Seers for the monsters. All the spells are two Gravity Axes, I guess it's Garl. Uh, one Floodgate Trap Hole. One Ghost Trick Break. Two Draining Shields. Two Spirit Barriers. And two Astral Barriers for the traps. So, the top thing of the deck is Astral Barrier combined with Spirit Barrier. Obviously, this is... God, I'm doing it again. Obviously. This is a popular thing for Ghost Trick decks. Um, what it does is the Astral Barrier, if your opponent's monster attacks a monster you control, you can make that attack a direct attack instead. And then, with Spirit Barrier, while you control a monster, you take no battle damage. So, an infinite number of times, they declare an attack, you make it a direct attack, you take no damage. Assuming you have a monster on the field. It is a great combo, since you want Ghost Trick Skeleton on the field, so that every turn you flip him up, remove the top card of their deck from play, flip him back face down. And for every other ghost trick you have face up when you flip him, that's another card you can remove. So it gets better and better. Now the new addition to the deck is the ghost trick witch. Now this has a whole nother added layer. You have two ways to stop your opponent from attacking now. Her effect is, is that once per turn you can change uh, or you can target one of your opponent's face-up monsters and change it to face-down defense. So if you equip her with a Gravity Axe, it's an equip spell, she gains 500 attack, but monsters your opponent control cannot change their battle positions. Th those two cards combined, she just immediately becomes a Floodgate Trap Hole, basically. Floodgate Trap Hole is when your opponent summons a monster, change that monster to face-down defense position, and they can't change its battle position. Ever. <laughs> also combined with Ghost Trick Yukiona, she's new as well. Uh, if she is destroyed by battle by an opponent's face-up monster, yep, then she can change that monster to face-down defense position, and they can't change it. So if you've noticed here, the goal is to just lock down your opponent, and we have two different methods of doing it now. And then, of course, just mill out their deck. Now. Delg of the Dark Monarch has replaced Lava Golem, because before I was running two Lava Golems, but since Lava Golem decks have become so popular, I needed a way to deal with them. So he can be used to sacrifice a Lava Golem if it gets put on your side of the field, since that's the easiest way to get rid of one. On top of that, he still supports the theme of the deck. You can remove from play up to two cards in their graveyard, and then send the top two cards of their deck to the graveyard. So you can still get that mill power out, even if they killed your, or tributed your Ghost Trick Skeleton for a Lava Golem. Now, of course, uh, Ghost Trick Ghoul, his effect is, is that once per turn you can select one Ghost Trick monster, and that monster's attack becomes, the, it becomes equal to all of the Ghost Trick monsters on the field attack combined. But only he can attack that turn. So you still have some good beat power with him. And uh, now we have a way to recycle them, though. This trap card here. 
It says when exactly one face-up ghost trick monster you control and no other cards is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can target two ghost trick monsters in your graveyard with different names from the destroyed monster and special summon them in face-down defense. So, I mean, it does have a lot of limitations on there, but it is a good way to keep your field with monsters on it. Especially if you want to, like, just say that you have some skeletons, some witches in the grave, and they've been destroyed, and you just throw down a Yukiona. And then, boom, she dies, you get her effect, and you pull back your skeleton and your witch. Now, Crystal Seers, they're in there for consistency. Uh, flip, excavate the top two cards of your deck, add one of them to your hand, and place the other one on the bottom of your deck. So, it's good just all, all around consistency and of course draining shield you can stop an attack and then gain life points which with destiny <coughs> draw whoops yeah with destiny draw that's very handy because you can use destiny draw more than once that way each time your life points is decreased by 2000 you get to just draw whatever card you want out of the deck <coughs> extremely handy just in case you didn't know what destiny draw does but I think I've discussed everything in the deck now I got that done pretty quick. <laughs> but if you like this, give it a like. If you think it's a crap deck, give it a thumbs down. You know, just interact in some way. Leave a comment. Subscribe. It's been Postal268. Thanks for watching.